everybody, welcome back to Magenta Makes. Today I'm going to show you how I put together uh, this fairy throne for the fairy house uh, using a found object and uh, some natural materials and a little bit of craft items that I had around. So stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so to start out, I, I'm starting with this um, little object here. Now this was something, um, I'm sure it was a candle holder. It's made of metal. It's quite heavy and it looks like it had these sort of three leafy arms that, that stood up. Honestly, I don't really know what it was, but my husband uh, brought it home. He found it and he said, uh, well, maybe you can use it for something. And as soon as I saw it, I thought uh, it just would make a great fairy throne. Uh, so I set it aside and I've been collecting my materials and um, so I'm ready to make it into a fairy throne today. Now the first thing is this space uh, where I, I'm guessing a candle will go because it seems like the right size for a little candle like a little tea light. Um, we've cut a little slice of a branch uh, to fit right inside to make a nice seat and then so that'll be a, a good seat to sit on for the fairies. And then I just have a, a you know all kinds, it's just an assortment of you know um, embellishments. So I've got a, just a little collection of beads here. I have uh, these little roses that uh, I got in a thrift shop with a, with a bunch of other stuff. I have some moss which I'm going to use to, to glue around the edges uh, just to make it sort of look like it's been hanging out in the woods for a while. And then I have um, just a collection of natural things, little pods, um, some driftwood, some little grapevine curls. I just, I'm not really sure how they're going to go, but I can just imagine I'm just going to wing it. I don't have a, a plan, <laughs> specific plan about how I'm going to go, but I'm going to start by putting in the little seat. And I'm going to start gluing on some moss just around the edges. I really want to hide this part where that metal arm has broken off. You can see a little uh, nail head or whatever, a little screw sticking out. So that's going to be my first part. I'm going to do that. I'll put the seat in. Uh, I'll start with a little bit of moss. I like the patina, but you could all, obviously, if you found something like that, you could paint it, but it sort of looks rusted and, I don't know, worn out. And I, I really like that, but I'm going for that. Uh, it's perfect for a fairy throne. So I will do that first step with the seat and the moss, and, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I went ahead and put in the little um, disc of wood uh, for our seat. And then I hot glued on uh, some moss just to kind of hide the fact that it's a broken candle holder and it's already I'm really happy with how it's starting to shape up and like I said I'm not really sure <laughs> of the entire plan what it's going to look like when it's finished but now I think I'm going to go ahead and take some of my grapevine branches and glue them on to the inside of this and maybe uh, make some kind of a backing. I do have some driftwood too so that might I think I'm going to take something like that and make some kind of a backing onto the chair and I'll hot glue that on uh, and then I'll come back. Okay so here's uh, the next stage. I've um, hot glued on uh, these little pods as a backing of the chair. I wasn't really crazy about the way the drift would look but like I said it's very personal. You can just do it to your own taste for sure and whatever materials you have around. I hot glued on these little grapevine tendrils and these little, they look like little cones, I don't know, I picked them up at the beach, and uh, a little acorn. Um, so I just have a box of natural materials that we collect all summer long whenever we go, you know, to the park, on a picnic, to the beach, whatever, walk in the woods, um, you see pretty things and just collect them and it comes in handy for a project like this. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is maybe use these little sort of, um, silk flowers just to add some color. I really like the natural vibe that's going on here but I think maybe just pretty it up with like a couple little of these um, uh, silk flowers and then maybe a few beads. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and show you what we have. Okay so I'm finished adding all my embellishments. I hot glued on uh, let me just zoom in there so you can see these little silk 
flowers. I didn't do the pink ones. I went with purple because I wanted not so much of a contrast. I didn't want it to be too glamorized. I wanted it to feel more natural, so I thought a little less contrast. And then I glued on these little um, purple beads onto the tips and onto the branches, just keeping it pretty natural, but just adding a tiny bit of bling. So there you go. That's my fairy throne. And that's how I did it. And it occurred to me while I was doing it that, um, you know, not everyone's going to be able to find this neat little metal object that I found, uh, the little candle holder. Um, but since it was just so chair-like, you could just start with a little wooden chair or a little wicker chair and, uh, and go from there and embellish with the things that you have around with whatever you have, beads, uh, natural materials, and uh, definitely add some moss. The moss is great for hiding uh, the hot glue and hiding your work wherever you fasten things. Let me see if I can just give it a turn. In the back especially, I used the moss to hide the mechanics of how everything was fastened. And that just keeps the whole thing looking very natural. And uh, not so much uh, of like a craft project. So there we go. That's my fairy throne. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Magenta Makes.